Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to show you how to get your WLED, Amazon Alexa and Home Assistant integration to the next level. Before starting, I must warn you that if you have an Amazon device near you, you should disable it because I will say the A word a lot of times in this video. Okay, so the idea was planted in my head during an Amazon um, webinar they were presenting uh, Alexa Connect Kit and as testimonial a uh, lady was presenting um, her company's Christmas tree that uh, was able to change colors, brightness and also effects from Alexa. I was unable to find the exact video on the internet but I found something similar as you can see next. Alexa, set my Christmas tree to fade. Alexa, set my Christmas tree to multi. Alexa, set my Christmas tree to sparkle. So we all know that from Alexa integrated with Home Assistant, you can change the colors and uh, the brightness of uh, WLED um, hardware. But let's see if I can change the effects. Alexa, ask tree light to set police effect. The tree light police effect has been applied. Alexa, ask tree light to set chase effect. The tree light police effect has been applied. Alexa, ask tree light to set android effect. The tree light android effect has been applied. Alexa, ask tree light to set blink effect. The tree light blink effect has been applied. Alexa, Ask tree light to set chase effect. The tree light chase effect has been applied. Alexa, ask tree light to set lightning effect. The tree light lightning effect has been applied. Alexa, ask tree light to set fireworks effect. The tree light fireworks effect has been applied. Okay, let's see how I did it from the documentation page of Amazon Alexa integration in Home Assistant we see that uh, there's a possibility to create a custom Alexa skill in order to do this you need to have an Amazon developer account also an AWS account and you also need to expose your Home Assistant um, instance on the 443 port via HTTPS uh, protocol and to own a valid uh, certificate. It's very easy to achieve all this if you are using the DAC DNS uh, plugin from, for, for Home Assistant. If you are missing any of this, just read the documentation as suggested in this page everything it's very very well documented uh, and it's easy for you to to create the missing parts so let's uh, continue with the um, skill creation so I will open this link in a new tab and I will create a new skill as described below Next, we need to open the developer console and click on the Alexa skills kit. Here we have the button to create a new skill. Give the skill a name. Let's say tree light. Keep the model to custom as it is already selected. And then the hosting method um, you should uh, change to Python. And now 
the platform uh, asks us to choose a template. We will keep uh, the selection start from scratch and then uh, um, the platform will uh, create the skill. While waiting for Amazon to create the skill, we can go and create the needed lambda function. In order to do this, we open the AWS console. And here we go to the lambda functions. Before creating the function, please confirm that your account is configured correct in the sense that your current region is displayed in the top right corner. In my case, it's Europe. Please make sure that your region is set here correctly. Okay, on the top right part we have the create function button. We keep the author from scratch selection and then we add a function name like WLED and switch the runtime method to Python 3.6 or 3.7. I will go to Python 3.7. For the execution role, I already had one created, so I will select that one. If you don't have one, just go back to Home Assistant documentation uh, and follow the steps there to create, a, to create a role. I got an error here. I don't know what, uh, what happened. Let's just refresh the page to see if the Lambda function was created. So it seems so I suggest to ignore the error and continue. We need to add a trigger and the trigger will be the skill that uh, we previously created. We need to add a skill ID. So we go back to the Alexa developer console. And under the endpoint section, we have the skill ID. We can click on the copy to clipboard link and back to the Lambda tab paste the skill ID and click on the add button. Next you need to click on the lambda function name in my case WLED and we need to provide the source code for our function. In order to do this we'll go back to the home assistant documentation page and there's a link to the github uh, repository of the um, of a Python script. Click on that link and here click um, on the raw button. Select all the code, copy it to clipboard and paste the code on the lambda function section and also press on the deploy button. Now scroll down to the environment variable section Click edit and add a new variable called base underline URL and here add your home assistant uh, HTTPS endpoint and after that click on the save button. Now from the top right copy the function ID and paste it on the skill page endpoint section to the default region and also to your region, Europe in my case. Save and confirm changes. I will get rid of these messages and we will next activate the account linking. So from tools we choose account linking and we activate it by moving the slider to the right. Here we need to provide some information. We'll go back to the Home Assistant documentation to see exactly what to add here and how. 
Please follow the steps as described on the page. For the authorization URI and also token URI, you need to add your um, Home Assistant HTTPS endpoint followed by uh, this path, auto hash authorize and auto hash um, token. Next, um, you need to enter the client ID belonging to your region. You can add Whatever you want for the client secret, Home Assistant will anyhow not check uh, this field. It's important then to select the um, authentication scheme as being credential in request body and in the end add a new scope um, with a value intent. If you correctly follow the steps, your page should look similar to this. Don't forget to click on the save button and now it's time to activate the new created skill in the Alexa app. In the documentation page is mentioned that uh, you can go to the Alexa app on your mobile phone. However, because I'm too lazy to do that, to actually to grab my phone, um, I will uh, open it uh, in a web browser by accessing the alexa.amazon.com address. You need to go to skills, then your skills, in development skills, and you should see your brand new created skill. Click on it, click on activate, then click on settings or configuration and then click on account linking. You should now see your Home Assistant login prompt. Please enter your uh, credentials and login in order to finalize the account linking process. There's a couple of more things to do. And the first one is to configure Home Assistant. We need to create an intent script and from documentation we see that we need to define an intent type then a speech that will represent the answer which Alexa will give us and then an action in regards to the action we need to go to the WLED integration in Home Assistant and here in the services section we see the first service being the WLED effect and then what parameters this service accepts. Next service is the WLED preset, but for this one I will let you to create an intent. So what you see now on the screen it's a file that I've saved in the configuration folder of Home Assistant. It's called intent underline script.yaml and it has on the first line the intent type named set effect. The speech um, Alexa will reply that the tree light effect uh, name has been applied and then the action we have the service WLED effect as we saw in the documentation as as parameters we have the entity ID in my case the light xmus tree entity and the effect um, which uh, is a variable and uh, will be received from from Amazon Alexa. We'll see in the next uh, steps when we will finalize the um, skill. Next, we need to include this intent script YAML file into the configuration file, and we can do this um, as you can see on the screen. Because we changed the configuration, you need to restart Home Assistant. And uh, we are entering into the last chapter of this tutorial. We will finalize the Alexa skill. First thing to do is to define an invocation. 
So when you ask Alexa to change your effect, you will use this invocation. So for example, here we add a tree light. You will say, Alexa, ask tree light to apply an effect. Last thing to do is to create an intent. And to be easy to explain it, I will bring on the screen also the intent file that we created in the previous step. The intent name is the intent type as defined in the file. And we need to create an utterance. For this utterance, um, we need to define a slot, which is in fact the variable uh, that I previously mentioned. The slot name should be effect. And as type, you should select Amazon.search query. To finalize the utterance, we need to include the slot that we just defined. The utterance will be, in fact, the command that uh, you ask Alexa to execute. We can define here multiple utterances, which are, in fact, commands given in natural language, natural English. I have defined apply effect slot effect which will be translated in English, actually will be called in English, apply lining effect, apply police effect, where police and lining will be farther sent from Amazon Alexa to the home assistant um, intent as variable um, that I previously mentioned. Don't forget to save and build your model. And when the build is done, you can ask Alexa to change your WLED effect by calling her Alexa, ask tree light to apply police effect or Alexa, ask tree light to set lining effect. Please let me know in the comment section if you managed to create your skill or if you have any questions. This being said, I'm done for today. Please subscribe, like, share and comment if you want to see more videos from me about Home Assistant and about smart devices integrated in Home Assistant. You also have the option to dislike this video, but if you want to do that, don't forget to click on the dislike button twice. Till next time.